on Good Friday 2023 I have a dream and in this dream Jesus is literally in this dream standing there and in this dream I go into this door and I go through like a small hallway and then I, I walk into the room and in this room it, it was um, a room of people and I was telling them we are going to go to heaven soon we're going to heaven soon so I'm announcing to them we're going to heaven soon and there is a group of people off to the side and there's just like four of them and other people are pushing them out of the way like they didn't want to hear anything these people said because these people were like me but I'm telling everyone we're going home so I was added to this group of people that there was only four of them and I go into that group now there is five of us in the group and then Jesus is in the middle of the room looking at all these people all these different groups so that group I'm in there's only five in there and mind you this has been going on for a very long time this this area that people are in and Jesus doesn't say one thing and he's just looking and telling people go left right stay there and this is how it's, it's going about here so the room had waiting chairs all over it like all around the walls and then it was all organized and in the middle of it and it was packed before I went into the group the group of people that I was placed into and so Jesus is just still standing there looking at people and the packed area I mean it was like hundreds of people and he put them in a room to the left so so I'm looking and there's a group of people grumbling and impatient and didn't care to stay and wait they were on their cell phones then I see these people being placed in another waiting room their children with them very disobedient children cussing wanting fast food they were led into a waiting room on the left then I see a very angry white woman who never associated herself with God she was mocking God she was and I even knew how tall she was she was five foot six inches cocky controlling not submissive and she was left literally just left she didn't even go into a room she was just left then I went out a door people were on drugs drinking wasting time they were in like um a backyard um loud music and um I tried to tell them we are going to go to heaven soon they said don't worry about that that they got it under control and went on partying and doing nasty turking with women it was nasty I left them and went back into the waiting area depressed then I look out a window from this waiting room and I see a woman come out of a house and it was raining out gray rain she looked very sad a car pulled up with a man in it and I I know that she owed him money she handed him the money and even though she couldn't afford it and paid him I seen his hand receive I only seen the man's hand and her giving it to him and she felt good about paying it and the, the rain was just washing down on these hands then the scene changes so that's basically saying that he knew she was broke and sad and depressed and he knew she was a Christian I knew she was a Christian at this point he didn't care he wanted to get paid he had a nice car she didn't have nothing and it was raining out so he didn't care just wanted his money and drove off then the scene changes I'm in Michigan in the country and I'm looking at an old farmer on, on his property I'm standing on his property and I could see this farmer like I seen through his house and seen him sitting in the um in a room in a in a reclining chair I seen him there and I was standing on his property and his whole life all he wanted was his property and he was alone 
at, at the end of his life, he's just alone, no family, no children, no grandchildren, nothing but him and his property, that it was his property. Then the scene changed in a moment, and he's still in the house, and then it turned into a whole wasteland. His nice property turned into nothing but overgrowth weeds, and I mean way overgrowth. This man had nothing usable. This is all he had at the end of his life was just him and overgrown fields and a house that there was no life in it except for him. Then the scene changes to a so-called Christian woman. I knew she thought she was a Christian walking a dog with, with, a, with a leash in yoga tight pants in it, like a half shirt, all like looking really sexually exposed. And then the whole focus went from her to her dog's, because the dog was a female, to the dog's female area. And it was all swelled up. And I was like, I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but I was like, God, what's that about? And it, and it was swelled in heat. And that was basically saying women like her that are walking around, they're like, they're like that dog. Swelled up in heat, wanting sex and trying to drive men to have sex with them. And those were the categories of people that Jesus showed what was going on. And no one was listening to me except in this, I mean, it, it was a lot of people except four people and I was number five. So, I'm just letting this dream out. <laughs>